critical it is to finding the life of the Son manifesting in you, to see the, the heart of God behind the cross for yes, what it actually absolutely. is. Because there's a absolutely. reason why the life that, Je that we saw manifested out of Jesus came out of Jesus. And it had something directly to do with his view of the Father. Right? And so had his view of the Father been tilted right. or perverted or distorted at all, even as he hung on the cross with the sin and the death of the world on him, mm -hmm. if his view of the Father had been tainted, then he wouldn't have rested yeah. on the cross. He wouldn't have cried out to him. He wouldn't have been able to give up the ghost. He wouldn't have been able to find trust born in his heart towards God. Right. And see, what we've done is we've come and just, man, tr and all of us have done it. It's almost like what Paul said about the Jews and the Gentiles. Not one has walked in the right way of righteousness. Not one. All of us have gone astray. All, every single one of us at some point had had this wrong view of God or the heart of God behind the cross. Sure. Right. And, and what we didn't know it is that view really made it difficult for us to find just effortless trust in our heart towards God in every situation. It's easy to say you trust God when things are going good. Yeah. It's easy to feel like God's not far from when you think all exactly. things are just lining up and going hunky-dory. <laughs> but what's going on in your heart when, man, you sit in the midst of all sin and death? Do you see what I'm saying? That's a whole other story. What are your thoughts then? Yes. Right? Are you right. crying out to God or are you busy trying to clothe yourself? Right. Are you crying out to God to heal you from the pain? Are you trying to heal yourself from the pain? And I think for so long, we've labored under this wrong view of God um, or his heart behind the cross that we wanted to trust God more than anything in the whole world. But the view we had of God and the way he the deals with he us, does. man, it didn't allow for trust to come forth. No. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. If we sit with the view of God where we say he forsook Jesus, he poured out his wrath on Jesus, he punished Jesus with death. He punished Jesus with all these mm -hmm. things. And then we see that Jesus has our sin and our death on him. Then that tells us that's how God wanted to treat us. Yeah. Now listen, that causes a big problem. Yeah. It causes a big it problem. Does. It doesn't matter yeah. if he now comes and says, oh, well, I got it out now. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I, yes. I had all those desires, but I, I was able to get it out. And, no, I'll never have a relapse. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> you see, listen. Sure, I'm gone. I won't. We, we might say that makes sense in our head. That's kind of what I did before I saw this, just because that's what I was taught in church, and you, this, this is what you believe. But it doesn't make sense to the heart right. is the problem. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The heart will labor with that, and the heart will never be able to trust. If my dad come and told me, listen, Greg, um, I repent from... From 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 beating on you because I beat on Jay instead. I'm not going to be able to believe that because he beat on Jay instead that he's not going to beat on me again in the future. That's right. That doesn't that doesn't possess the power to prove that to me. Right. Or, you know what would possess the power to prove it to me? For me to see that he never ever would ever behave that way, nor had he ever behaved that way, nor would he behave that way, nor did he ever think of me that way. That's right. And then here's the proof. That's right. Yeah. And what we don't understand is that we were created to identify with Jesus. He took our sin and our death so we wouldn't just see him as a substitute, but we would see ourselves in him. Mm -hmm. And then we could be confronted with, there we are. Then we're confronted with our thoughts. Yeah. There we are. We're the smitten and stricken of God. <laughs> He's poured out his wrath on us. He's punished us because of our sin. He's forsaken us. There we are. Now all of a sudden, God comes and shows himself for who he really is. He comes and takes the guy that had our sin and our death on him. He raises him up from the dead. Right. Forever uprooting those thoughts and proving them to be false. No, I never forsook you. No, I never poured out my wrath on you. No, I never did any of this. No, I was never me that was punishing you. No, the death you had wasn't a result of me pouring out my wrath on you. We don't understand these things at all, what wrath even is. Sure. Right. And see, now... What happens is, is we can find the ministry of reconciliation being born in our heart. Instead of just hearing there is such a thing right. <clears throat> as the ministry of reconciliation. Because propitiation means to conciliate another to oneself. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have a perverted view of what propitiation is, and that's the thing that conciliates another to oneself, then how are you going to find the ministry of reconciliation manifesting in your heart? Yeah. You can't. You, you can't. 
because you have a completely wrong view of what it is. Mm -hmm. And so, and I preached a message about this a long time ago about uh, releasing the power of the ministry of reconciliation, mm -hmm. um, where we talk all the time about what happened at the cross, and we talk about it a lot. But we talk about it from a completely wrong foundation. Yeah, right. And so we talk about the thing that is the most powerful thing there is. And then because we talk about it from the wrong foundation, we snuff out the power mm -hmm. of the most powerful thing that happened. <laughs> right? <laughs> or we snuff out the power to find that thing manifesting in our lives now. Right? right? We still had the Holy Spirit. Right. We still had our lives sealed eternally. We still have that. Yeah, we can still feel God sometimes, but man, not like the manifestation of the life Jesus had. Right. If that exactly. makes any sense. Yes, totally.